Let us understand how to relate mixed fractions to improper fractions. Rani missed the lesson on converting improper fractions to mixed fractions. How can you explain her that 2 3 over 4 is equal to 11 out of 4? Well, 2 3 over 4 as you can see is kind of a mixed number. It is a mixed number because it has a whole number which is 2 and 3 over 4 is a fraction. Let's rewrite this. So it's like 2. This 2 is a whole number, right? And then we have a part attached to it which is 3 over 4. So basically, it is a mixed number. It has got both whole number and a fraction. Now, how to represent this in kind of fraction? Fraction is all about equal parts. So when we say 3 fourths, then what do we mean? We really mean that if we have a piece, let's say this is a rectangle, and let's divide it into four equal parts. So the four equal parts will be, let's divide it into half first and then again halves. Let us say these are four equal parts. Then three out of four will mean take three out of these four, right? So this is one, then we have two and three. That is three fourth. Now, how about two? Two whole means same thing, but two wholes. That means all together, right? So you take them all. So let's have these are the other two pieces, which are exactly same, right? So to make them look alike, let's divide them also into four equal parts, right? Let's do that. So here we are. And when we say take two whole, that means we'll shade all the portions, right? So each and every part is shaded. So we take two, both of them as a whole, right? So that is two wholes and three fourth. Or we can write them as a mixed fraction, which is two, three over four. Normally, we just call it a mixed number, right? Since we have a whole number and a fraction part to it. Now, the question is, is it equal to 11 over 4 or not? Let's check it out. Each small portion here represents 1 fourth, right? So, as you know, this is 3 fourths, 3 out of 4. How about these? These are also 1 fourths. So let's count them all. How many one-fourths do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So that means we have 11 fourths. And is it that 11 fourth equals to 2, 3 over 4? I think so. So let's write this as 11 out of 4, right? It's exactly the same thing. Two holes and three out of four is kind of same as 11 fourths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I hope you get it. Yes, it is. So, with the help of a diagram, we can easily show that two holes and three fourths is equals to 11 fourths. Now, I'll, I'll give you one more trick to do it without diagram also and that is when you say three fourths that means you're dividing a piece into four equal parts now consider pieces which are divided into four equal parts and you take two of them so each will have four parts right so what do we get so two will have how many parts two times four eight and then we have another one in which you take 3 out of 4. So let's add 3 to 8. What do you get? You get 11. So that is how we can convert any mixed number in the form of improper fraction. Right? So you get 11 fourths. Right? 11 fourths. Which we can write this as 11 out of 4. So that is a neat way of converting mixed numbers into improper fractions. Let me do them once again for you. So we have the number to start with 2, 3 out of 4. So what we did was 
in the numerator we wrote 2 times 4 and then we added 3. So these were fourths and so we got 2 times 4 is 8 and plus 3 9, 10, 11. We got 11 out of 4. So that is another way to show that the mixed number 2, 3 over 4 is same as 11 fourths or 11 out of 4. I hope you get it. Thank you.